Manchester Football Park, as we said, an historic occasion here, the first ever match between the Adelaide Camry Crows and last year's grand finalists, the Essendon Bombers. First tip to the Camry Crows through Romano Negri. No, but there should be a free kick for Lindsay. No, the umpires let the play go. Crows in full flight, straight at the big uprights, and here's the first goal of the match to the Adelaide Crows, and they're looking pretty good. The first trial game that we ever played, which was the middle of February, of the first year, 91, uh, which nobody knew how many people were going to turn up and I think 45,000 people turned up to a trial game against the Bombers at Footy Park in the middle of February and I think that was probably a surprise to everyone but also the, the, the alert that the club was really here to stay and it was going to be a powerful, strong club. There's a siren, a tremendous victory, crowd rises as one. Graham Corns would be a very, very happy man. Well, it was you know, a very, very productive hit out for us, as long as we don't get carried away with it. Exactly, so I mean you're happy you won, but let's uh, not get too over the top about it. Well, it doesn't mean anything, does it really? And of course that then flowed through to the first game where the atmosphere was just electric and you're playing last year's Premier, Hawthorne. Gets it across to McGinn, a spin to out once, twice, shoots. It's a filled stadium and you win the game by whatever it was, 10 or 12 goals. So I think from the club's perspective and from a personal point of view, that vindicated my decision to come home from Melbourne. Um, and I think from the club's point of view, that vindicated that they had the right to be in the AFL and they were going to be a powerful club. So those two games are my um, fondest memories. Tony McGuinness, club champion, 1993.